All right, gang, we're going to talk about one more uh, wireless personal area network, and that is a wireless personal area, personal area network known as NFC, or Near Field Communication. Okay, so what is Near Field Communication? It's a cool technology that is designed to do something kind of like Bluetooth, but do it differently. Uh, it's very short range, 10 centimeters. This is, a, this is a networking technology that is associated with bumping devices uh, into each other. So you've got your phone, I've got mine, and we go beep, and we bump and, and we share a contact. Or we have an application, uh, Angry Birds opens up a new level, uh, for example. But where it really was designed initially to be implemented is things like ticketing systems or for payment systems. And with those kinds of environments, you have kind of a centralized kind of station that is sending out, hey, I'm a near field device. And then you can load up your app that says you have this amount in your bank account you'd like to pay. And then you can bump the device, just kind of wave it near that reader. And it will read your near field communication based upon that. Now, again, low speed. Right? Not designed to actually send a whole lot of data. You're not moving pictures and files for the most part. Uh, you're keeping low speed communication in place. It is a, a simple point to point transaction, but the handshake is fast. That's why we can get away with bumping and swiping and it doesn't take that long to implement. It's very cool that way. One, there's two types of devices. We have devices that are designed to be uh, interrogators. Uh, these are going to ask the questions. These are going to uh, again be like that workstation a uh, localized system that's beaconing out so that you can pay there. Or it might be something where you're in a museum and it actually tells you, you know, sends you a little blurb about, or even orally gives you a little bit of information in your app about whatever you're looking at in the museum, right? So it's contextualized to even your language based on what it detects on your phone. Cool stuff there. Then we have other things that are tags. Now, the cool thing about tags is that these allow for you to have essentially a near field communication with a totally unpowered device. That's kind of weird if you think about it for a second. So I can have essentially, for example, a ticket that I purchase on the railways in the UK. And the, uh, the ticketing agency can take a near field scanner, near field communication scanner, and when they send out a pulse, that pulse has a just enough energy not only to actually travel the exciting 10 centimeters between it and the, uh, and the uh, ticket with its embedded near field communication tag inside of it, but to power that tag. There's enough energy to actually power the tag. Uh, so it kind of lights up in the glow. It's almost like a photosynthetic reaction, right? It's lighting up in the glow of that near field interrogator and then it can send its response back saying, I am this ticket number, or I am going to this station, or whatever information is encoded in that tag. So, uh, you know, compared to something like a, a Bluetooth reader, this is wireless, very, very short distance, right? Not even a meter like that class three uh, Bluetooth was, it's down to 10 zener, so it's really close communication. Uh, so it has to have essentially physical proximity. Uh, um, however, it's quick handshaking and it's kind of promiscuous nature. The fact that it's designed for sharing information means that it's very simple to utilize in a, in a practical scenario. Lots of apps can be developed where if the apps are open, near field communication is available, they can talk to each other. And so it's very app driven for, for how it focuses. Unlike QC codes that can be that can encode some information that can be processed by an app or redirect to a website or something like that. One of the advantages here is that, again, it's not based upon a, a camera technology, visibility, uh, lining things up. It is, wire, it is a wireless technology. It is going through the air just a very short distance. It can be secured uh, in that initial communication between the interrogator and the tag. You can, it will actually have that ability to uh, set up a, a session and set up encryption keys so that important information like payment information, if we're using it in a debit or credit card situation can be protected in transit. So near field communication, growing technology as far as close proximity, small scale wireless personal area networks are concerned.